All right, uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you all for coming. It looks like standing room only at a Phillies game, which is, which is great. Uh, and we'll try to adjust uh, room sizes uh, for the next session. What uh, we've assembled today for is a uh, focus on opportunity. I think uh, the Army's at a crossroads in the knowledge management area. And that was one of the reasons why I pushed the CIOG-6 and the FCA to have a broader uh, program that was Army, uh, across all Army uh, knowledge management activities. And you'll see in some of the subsequent uh, sessions where we have AMC talking about enterprise uh, implementation of SharePoint, for example, uh, some of the tool sets that have been developed within TRADOC that are applied, that have been uh, proliferated and shared among the, the uh, Army enterprise. Uh, we'll get Warfighter Forum perspective uh, from Forcecom on uh, that great initiative that was started several years ago uh, with General Campbell, General Wallace, and uh, those sessions are, are late in the week. We'll have an industry partner in here with the, the uh, APQC folks who are leading the way in, in benchmarking and standards within this area and, and helping us in some, uh, some of the problem uh, adjusting metrics. And then uh, a third, uh, or finally, a, a business of the business. Uh, we've asked and invited and, and uh, Mr. Mark Lewis will be here. He's a Deputy Chief Management Officer working for the Undersecretary. And we've assembled on a panel with him as a member as well as some of our Center of Excellence uh, SESs uh, and, and other industry and academia, uh, a perspective of what knowledge management means to them, it means to the Army, uh, how can we implement it uh, appropriately. Uh, not on the panel, but within the room, we have representatives from uh, Combined Arms Center who are proponents for the Army operational knowledge management. Uh, and so there may be some issues on governance that, that are addressed there. And then finally, uh, in the context of transparency and collaboration and openness, and I think this is a, a very good venue to, uh, to discuss this, is uh, the Army COG-6 has decided to Passed to TRADOC proponency for Army knowledge management. What does that mean? Some of that may come out of today. Those are some of the things we want to discuss. How do we get that done? What's the timelines? What are some planning, planning factors and things of that nature? What are the resources associated with that? Uh, I don't think we're asking for the world, but I don't think we can do it with a, with a uh, empty wallet. Uh, those are issues we are already met with in the building last week. Uh, with uh, CAOG-6 and um, DESOPS uh, to try to solve some of those problems, but that's a way ahead. But the forum is, is our forum. It's, it's uh, for, uh, I think this is an entrepreneurial opportunity. That's one reason I took this job several years ago, because I think it's a startup. It's, uh, it's a, we're getting a lot of traction. Uh, we'll talk in the second part of our session here um, about uh, training and education a civilian workforce particularly, although we will bridge and link to the operating force training and education program for the professional soldier and warfighter who will have to walk between the operating force and the generating force uh, environments. And so we need to get them well-grounded, well-rounded in, in both of those areas. I'd also like to acknowledge our uh, uh, online uh, our partners, there are 30 or 40 people out there that are monitoring us and paying uh, participating in this session. So we'll do our best to ensure that they, they are integrated into the, the way ahead. If we do have questions, we will have questions and, in, and, and comments. Please grab a mic, grab this one, we'll pass it around. This is wired, you can't use this one, all the wireless over here. Uh, we have some in the back uh, so that everybody can hear the question and then we'll appropriately answer. Uh, what we've assembled, uh, what I've assembled here is a, is a, is a group of experts that uh, I've worked with over a number of years. Uh, some of them go back five or six years in the knowledge management area. Uh, from my, my uh, right, your, your right, uh, Rose Parman is with AMID, and she's in, uh, uh, with the AMID department. They've been uh, very active in establishing an uh, AMID Warfighter Forum. Uh, they've linked to the Surgeon General's office. 
They link to the Warrior Transition Units, uh, and it's a very uh, rigorous uh, program, which which includes uh, the certification and continuing continuing ed of their professional force, uh, their nurses, doctors, etc. Uh, to her side is uh, Phil Quinn. He's in the office of Axiom, the Office of Chief of Staff of Insta Inf Installation Management in the department. Uh, he works closely. Uh, his boss is dual-hatted as the, as the IMCOM commander. But he is in the office of um, the DCG and is re uh, of the, works the DCG and also uh, the Axiom and uh, comes with uh, operational experience. Uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, and so he brings a great deal of knowledge on how to leverage the installation environment to prepare a warfighter to move into the AOR. Uh, to his right is uh, Charlie Quinn, retired Navy, Naval, uh, Naval Army aviator, sorry, Navy friends, uh, a senior Army fellow, and uh, has worked in AMC for uh, the last 10 years, both on the operational side. Uh, as well as currently the Deputy CIO uh, G6. And then to his right is uh, Craig Passy. Passy. I have a neighbor friend who's Passy. Uh, Craig and I go back uh, a number of years, and he works with Deputy Chief of uh, the DCG at Forcecom. Uh, he's the uh, KM lead there, soon to be titled probably Deputy CKO. Uh, and he was uh, the, uh, he's a green belt. Uh, uh, Lean Six Sigma, and has worked in warfighter forms for the last uh, five or six years, and that team is uh, really showing the way, leaking to the operating force, the, the uh, core commanders who are the senior mentors within that program. So what I've asked each of them to, to talk about is, go to the next slide, please. Uh, describe how, how is governance lack thereof, uh, what we may have, what we may not have, what we may need, how does it help them, hinder them? Uh, what are the challenges? Is there value to some of the, the, the guidance we have out there? Uh, excuse me, I will step up, uh, stand right up front in, in uh, full disclosure that uh, the Army has a number of KM related policy statements, regulations, and it is incoherent. We are supposed to bring coherence to the, to the business, to the operating force. We lack a lot of coherence. In, in this area. So that's one of the things I'd like to discuss and, and uh, once we get the mantle for leading the proponent area for the Army, this is something that uh, I've raised several times and now, you know, be, be careful what you wish for. Uh, looks like we'll get a chance to help figure that out. But I can't do it. We can't do it. Uh, we have to do a collaborative way. Um, and suggested way ahead. So I got people that work for me in the room that are going to take some notes. Hopefully you'll take good notes. Um, I have business cards up front here, but uh, we will continue this dialogue once we leave the room. So I'd like to start with, uh, with Rose, walk across and let them discuss the issues associated with their particular implementation, uh, the, the governance issues that, that uh, have risen. Again, I apologize for the oversubscription, uh, we'll work to fix that uh, for the next session. Rose? Okay, um, I'll just start off by telling you that um, our organization has been in existence for about 10 years. Um, a lot of challenges in those 10 years, the knowledge management office. So we finally had a CKO appointed about, I would say about four to five years ago. And um, again, a lot of challenges. We had a strategic plan developed in our office, and just recently, uh, within the last year, we stood up a knowledge management group, a work group that uh, included. I'm sorry, from, can you talk to the people, hear you. people from the? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, from the office of the Surgeon General, and um, most recently, uh, we've actually stood up what we call the Army Medicine Knowledge Management Council. And this council is a cross-functional group that includes people from um, not only the Medical Command but, and Office of the Surgeon General, but also the regional, um, the regional medical commands, uh, military treatment facilities, the Public Health Command, the uh, Medical Research, uh, the MRMC, and uh, different organizations, what we're trying to do is operationalize our knowledge management uh, practices and principles. 
um, across the entire AMED. And we want to do it strategically and we want buy-in. So we want to make sure that everybody that is going to help us implement that we have champions across the whole enterprise. Some of the challenges that we have is, um, as, as you all know, it's hard because we do have people that are um, OCONAS and CONAS. So sometimes the time, the time uh, is difficult. A lot of our meetings, we try to do them in the middle of the day, which is usually from 11 uh, a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Time. They're virtual meetings. Um, we do try to meet face-to-face -face twice a year. And by the way, we uh, got this idea from serving on the TRADOC Knowledge Management Council, which has been stood up a few years ago. Uh, we've been part of that uh, TRADOC Knowledge Management Council, even though we don't fall under TRADOC. We wanted to do what knowledge management does is, you know, share those best practices, bring back what we learned from them, and implement them at the medical command. So those are some of the things that we've been doing uh, as far as uh, governance. Um, this, again, the value that this brings is it, it helps champions uh, be stood up across the entire AMED. Um, our, our council is going to continue. Um, we've had over a year working as a work group and now it's expanded to a council to ensure that all the organizations that fall within AMED are part of the council. And uh, we're going to review our council composition within a year, see where we're at, what we've done. So far, um, one of the great things that, that I think that we've done is we've developed uh, the Army uh, Medicine Strategy Map, which includes uh, objectives which support the certain generals. And I have some copies here, whoever's interested, you can come pick them up. It includes our vision and our mission for our knowledge management. It also includes uh, the objectives and what each of these objectives mean. And we've taken it a step further with this council as we've developed strategic initiatives under each of the objectives that uh, we're going to implement as a council uh, to ensure that, again, it's operationalized across the uh, enterprise. Uh, along with these initiatives, we'll be developing uh, measurements, metrics to ensure that uh, there is success. We'll review the composition of the council in one year, make sure that we have the right players on the council, and, and look and see how far we've gone in one year. Um, that's, that's where we're at with our, um, count, our governance. Are there any questions?